Hello Scorpio, thank you for clicking on my channel and welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your Zodiac Tarot forecast for the week ahead at the time you clicked on the title when it intrigued you and do check the playlist for other titles that may resonate for you at this time. Cards have been pre-shuffled. We have to start with the Queen of Water. This is a sign of emotion, being emotional. This is also about psychic connections, feeling psychically connected to another. It can also signify that maybe you're doing for others too much. Giving too much. Oh, Scorpio, we have a beautiful and perfect match. The Queen of Water, now we have the King of Water your energy so this never mind about the maybe doing too much for someone else well maybe you are maybe you're doing too much for your kids or doing too much for your friends but we've got the king and queen of water now they are emotionally emotionally romantically and deeply connected this is the couple of love gorgeous oh my goodness you're creating a whole new reality for yourself here the two of you creating a whole new reality we have some jealousy outside people being deceptive or maybe someone is in love with you and not telling you you know wearing a mask trying to pretend that they don't love you when they're crazy about you but this could be others that are jealous because, I mean, look at this. You see a perfect couple who wouldn't be jealous. You know, they'd want to be a score. Everybody wants to be a Scorpio this week. We have decisions that need to be made. And there's a conflict here of using, you know, you don't want to get so caught up in this emotional state of bliss that you can't be logical, right? So you or this person is going through a decision they need to make a decision is it uh, logical to, to pick logic or emotion uh, where's the balance whatever it is you're following your destiny you're also in a very um fortunate time period uh you know where money would come e easy or luck is on your side. But more importantly, this is about destiny and being on your destined path. But look at how this ends. I mean, I don't even want to pull more cards, Scorpio. This is about nurturing Queen of Earth, Capricorn energy, showing that ability to make everything look beautiful. Perhaps it's you, Scorpio, that's just creating this new reality for you and your mate. And for those of you who are single, this is literally creating that reality that they are already with you, preparing for them. We have all three water signs here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right, let's pull these other cards. Look at that. Queen of Water says, I can. The solar plexus chakra. King of Water. Wow, powerful Scorpio energy here. We have life changes. Big movements. Some of you are moving. Some of you are building your empire now. Getting your foundations nice and solid. Disruption means change. This could be like you're building this whole new... Because this looks like a new reality for you. Awareness. You're manifesting a new reality. Holy moly. I can't get over this reading. Prosperity begins. Oh yeah, why wouldn't they be jealous? How come Scorpio gets the perfect love? How come Scorpio gets to prosper? How come that's not happening for me? This is about... And look, you're not doing it together. Those hands are joined. Prosperity begins with the both of you. It's 
It's a good match. Look at the twin, or I think this is your twin flame, Scorpio. Patience, planning, these decisions that you're making, the patience, the planning to build this new empire. Financial and material changes. This is all, look at the change. Look at the change. This, this whole new empire is popping up making the changes, doing the planning, beginning that prosperity. And again, final, it's the same as this card. This card is the same as this card. The final decision, nurturing that you make the right decision, that there is a proper balance between logic and emotion. Because when you're that much in love, Sometimes you need to get grounded with earth energy to make sure that your feet are on the ground and you're making the right decisions at the right time and making the right plans and together. That's an awesome reading. Maybe one of the best ones I've ever done for Scorpio yet. But let's have a look at some advice or a message of love for Scorpio that will help them along in this week ahead. <laughs> yep, this is your soulmate. And enjoy this bliss of time together. You're in a very nice segment of time. And if they're not with you, like I said, for you singles out there, act as if they're already there. Create, manifest, build that empire like they're already with you. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did, Scorpio. Hit the like, give me a comment, and join me Sunday nights. 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time when I pull free cards for the party in the chat and pick one of you for a free personal reading. Thanks for joining me. God bless you, Scorpio, and I hope to talk to you again soon. Bye-bye for now.